Welcome to our Google Drawing lesson. This is Mr. C, and today we'll be talking about important skills and tools to create amazing drawings. Some of the skills and tools I'll be covering today in Google Drawing are how to copy and paste, tracing with curve and polyline tools, connecting lines, zooming in and out, filling with color, and send to back, bring to front. So let's get started. Let's go to our Google Drawing and demonstrate how to create amazing drawings on Google Drawing. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you how to copy and paste. We're gonna do a simple search and I'm going to come up and open up a new tab. We're going to open up a, do a Google search for an Apple. So I'm gonna bring up some Apple clip art and click on images. And we're gonna find a simple apple to trace. I like this apple right over here. So let's go ahead and choose that one. Once I've chosen my apple, I'm gonna right click on it. There's several different ways to copy and paste, but this is the way that I find easiest. I'm gonna copy the image and I'm gonna go back to my Google drawing and I'm gonna right click inside my Google drawing and I'm going to paste the image. So now, as you can see, I have my apple in my Google drawing and I wanna make this apple as big as I can on my page. So I'm going to stretch it out. I don't want to take it outside of the drawing area, so that seems to be a good size. Now I will center it, just so I have it in the middle of my page. Now that I have my uh, image that I'm going to trace, the first thing that I want to, to show you is our line tools. Our line tools that we have that are most effective are here on the toolbar when you click on the arrow next to the line tools, you will find that you have line, arrow, elbow connector, curve connector, but the two that you are going to use 99.9% .9 of the time, pretty much all the time, ladies and gentlemen, are curve and polyline. And whether you use curve or polyline depends on the shape that you are creating. So for example, the apple has many rounded shapes to it. It's a rounded object. Any object that has round corners, it is going to require that you use the curve line tool. The curve line is for rounded corners. The poly line is for uh, squares, rectangles, things with pointed corners, triangles. So anything with pointed corners is gonna be where you will use polyline anime. If you like to draw anime, you'll wanna use polyline for your anime. So because this is an apple, I'm gonna choose the curve line tool and I'm gonna get started tracing. Now, you know that I have my tool created because I have my plus sign and I'm gonna pick a spot on my apple to begin and I'm gonna click the mouse one time. And once I click the mouse, it will start my line. And as you can see, I have a line that I'm starting to draw. And anytime I want this line to curve, I'm going to continue to click my mouse one time. So I just click my mouse again and I'm going to trace this line clicking my mouse every time I want the line to curve. Now, as you're getting started on this, ladies and gentlemen, don't worry about being too perfect. Every time you want that line to bend or curve, just click the mouse one time. If you click the mouse two times, everybody watching, if you click the mouse two times, it will stop your line. So you'll see I have a line here and I stopped my line. Now. Most of you would figure, oh, well, that's okay. You can just go back to where your line stopped and you can start again. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to where my line stopped and I'm going to start again. And I'm going to finish tracing my apple and I'm going to do this rather quickly now. I just keep going around my apple and every time I want my line to curve, I click one time. Now, now that I'm finished, I'm going to double click and I I'm going to hit escape to get out of the line tool. And now I have drawn a line all the way around the apple. However, if I wanted to fill this apple in with red now, and I went to my color tool, I can't even find my color tool up here because this is not a fillable object. The reason why it's not a fillable object is because when I stopped my line down here, you can see when I zoom in, and this is the zoom tool, and we'll be talking about that a little bit more in a minute, but this is the zoom tool. So if I click on my zoom tool, and I come and I left click, it will zoom in for me. You'll, you can see very clearly 
that my line is not connected here where I stopped my line. And it is also not connected here where I ended my line. The problem with that is in Google Drawing, ladies and gentlemen, in order to fill an object with color, you must have one continuous line. And this is probably the most important skill to know for Google Drawing. You must have one continuous line all the way around the object you want to fill in and it must connect at the end. So let me demonstrate that. So I am going to actually zoo, uh, hit escape to get rid of all my tools. And now I'm going to do the undo tool to get rid of the lines that I have created. So there I am back to my stock image. All right. And I know I'm moving quickly, but you can replay this anytime you want to keep caught up and to learn these skills. So before I trace my line again, I have this zoom button up here, this zoom tool. And when I click on that, ladies and gentlemen, I can zoom in on this object as much as I want or by left clicking, or I can zoom out as much as I want by right clicking. So zoom in, left click, zoom out, right click. In this case, I'm going to get it just about as big as I can on the screen without uh, having any of the object disappear. So it looks like that's about as big as I can get it. Now I'm going back to my line tool. I'm going to choose curve again. I'm going to start from the same place I started from, and I'm going to continue to click one time every time I want my line to curve. So here I go all the way around my Apple. And welcome to online learning, guys. We have phones ringing in the, in the middle of lessons. It's fantastic. And I'm going to go all the way around my Apple, clicking one time as I go. I'm not going to try to be perfect my first time. I just want to get as close to an Apple shape as possible. Every time you see the circle go around my plus sign, that means I'm clicking one time. And I'm going to finish it off. And you'll see when I, I know if I've connected my line because my object will fill in with a solid light blue color. This will happen every time you connect a line. And now that it's connected, now I have the option to come up and fill with color. So I'm going to fill this object with red. All right. Now, there is more of this apple that I need to trace. I have a stem. I have a leaf. And I can practice using different tools for each one of these. So I have some pointed corners on this stem. So why don't I go ahead and show you the polyline tool. But before I do that, I want to zoom in on this stem as much as possible. So now I can see the stem much better. Now I'm going to select my polyline tool. Again, the polyline tool is used when you have pointed corners. So here's my polyline tool. I'm going to come down here and start where my stem is. And again, anytime I want my line to change directions, I'm going to click. The closer together I click, the cleaner my lines are. But for now, while we're just getting learning how to use this, it doesn't matter how perfect your lines are. Just go ahead and click all the way around the stem. And you know that it has connected because it filled in. Now, I don't want my stem to be red, so I'm going to come up here to the fill color, the fill tool. And I'm going to do my stem. Oh, I'm going to go a custom color. See where it says custom down here? So I click down here on custom. And I want it to be close to, oh, a brown or a black. Hmm, let's go back and see if we can get it closer to that. So I'm going to choose brown, but then I'm going to go custom, and let's see. Ah, uh, here we go. Now I'm going to come down here more on the black end, then I'll hit OK. Ah, uh, that's the color I wanted in my stem. So that you can customize your color as well. All right. Um, I also have a leaf that I could draw, but I'm not going to spend time on that. Right now, what I want to show you is I'm going to zoom back out. So I'm going to click on my zoom tool. I'm going to right click until I can see my whole apple. There I have my whole apple. And if you remember from our original shape, behind the apple that I drew, I have this shiny spot right here. Okay, and I'm gonna put this shiny spot in because I wanna show you a function. By the way, all I did to get rid of this shape that I've already drawn is I just drug it. I can click on it and drag it anywhere I want. All right, now if I wanna put that shape back, I can do the undo tool and it puts it right back. 
Now, guys, if I right click on my shape, it brings up a menu. And on this drop down menu, there is a button called order. And when I go to order, it says bring to front or send to back. Now, if I want to draw more to this apple, I want to send it back and then it's going to bring my original image to the front. This way I can trace my shiny spot on my apple. So in order to do this, I could use poly or curve. In this case, I'm going to use curve, but I'm going to really zoom in on this. Oops, that was a little bit too much, wasn't it? Let's zoom back out. All right, that's enough. Now I'm going to use my curve line. And... And once I have my plus, I can start tracing. So again, one click every single time you want it to curve. The more practice you get, the faster you will be able to go on this, guys. I really like curved line. It makes really nice, clean lines. And as soon as I finish that up, we should see it fill in. As you see, it filled in with light blue. That means I can color it in. So now I'm going to go to my fill color and I'm going to choose a pretty cool fill color, which is called gradient. If I go to gradient guys, now I can do, choose a gradient for my fill color. So I'm going to choose to do uh, a gradient of white. So I'm going to go back to solid. I'm going to choose white, but then I'm going to choose gradient and I want my gradient to stay light, but I want it to have a shiny spot in the middle. So you can see now it has kind of done a shading effect to this shiny spot. Now as I zoom out, as I zoom out, I'm going to come back to my apple and get the whole thing on the screen. Now I want to bring my drawing all the way back to just what I have created. And in order to do this, in order to get just what I have created on here, I'm gonna get rid of the Im original image that I copy and pasted. In order to do that, I can do it one of two ways. I can highlight it and I can delete it. And now you'll see just my drawing is left. Or if I undo that, I can take it and I can drag it out of the way. And now I can see the one I drew and I can see the one next to it and I can, can compare how successful I was with my drawing. So ladies and gentlemen, those are the basic tools that you need to know to create amazing drawings in Google Drawing. There are a lot of other tools available to you, but these are the ones that will get you started and then you can explore all the other tools that really can take your drawings to the next level. But if you wanna do some basic, really neat drawings and have fun with Google Drawing, this is what you needed to know. Have fun having your drawing adventure. I'll see you later.